I recently published a video questioning the slime mold intelligence experiment. I showed that the maze that was solved by slime mold can also be solved by normal tap water. Dr. Michael Levin responded by asking, Is the claim in that video that all intelligence requires the agent to know what problem it's solving? As the voiceover mentions, slime mold not having. Yes. Well, sort of. Let me give you an exaggerated example to illustrate how bad the slime mold test was. There is a frog called the spring peeper. It makes a really cute sound that sounds like the letter B. It's saying the letter B all night long. The males do this to attract mates. If I designed a multiple choice test with really difficult questions, but the answers to all of them were B, and then I gave the test to the frog, how silly would it be for me to then publish a paper claiming that the frog passed an intelligence test? That would be absurd. The frog had no clue that it was doing a test. I knew that the frog could say the letter B. I built a test around the frog's known ability, and then I pretended it used intelligence to solve my test. Likewise, we've known for a long time that slime mold is capable of chemotaxis, like many cells, and it's capable of using mass flow to find the shortest path between two food sources. The scientists here built a test around the slime mold's known abilities and then pretended that it intelligently solved their maze. It did not intelligently solve their maze. That said, their maze really was a fun way to illustrate the power of chemotaxis and flow-mediated remodeling. It demonstrates those processes in a way that lets people immediately understand the value of those traits. Slime mold is extremely competent without comprehension.